Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today's video I am going to be talking about a brand that I've recently come across called Groom. I think the brand has been going for quite a while now just because I look back on YouTube to see if there's any other videos on it and it seems like about three years ago people were doing videos on it but I've never really come across it but just recently I don't know if they're really really going at it with their marketing but it was coming at me from like all angles. I had an email from Vodafone who I used for my phone contract and because I was a Vodafone user it offered me a free bundle from Groom and I just had to pay postage and packaging. It was like a rewards thing so I thought okay I'll order that. It was actually my friend that told me about it and then they were doing another rewards thing. I can't even remember where I found that one. I think she told me about that one as well. But there was another one, so I managed to get another bundle of products. So I actually have 11 products to show you that I've only paid postage and packaging on. If I can find links for you guys to get these bits for yourself and only pay postage and packaging, I will leave the links down below. I don't know if that the marketing campaigns are finished now because I did get these a little while ago, but hopefully you can still get your hands on them. I will leave the products linked down below. Anyway, I'll also pop on the screen how much each product is. I'm pretty sure I've got them all in full size. I really, really love the look of the brand. That's what made me want to do this video. I don't really do many videos where I just talk about one brand for the whole video, but I just kind of love the look of this brand and I wanted to show you guys all of these bits that I've got just because I obviously have so many bits to show you so it does kind of work out that I can do a whole haul of groom products. A few of them I'll be unboxing now and giving you my first impressions on and a couple of them I have been using regularly so I can kind of tell you how I've gone with them as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So it says that all of their products have gentle formulations, they're vegan friendly, they're cruelty free and they're made in the UK. So it kind of has all of those tick box things that you kind of look for for products and also just really cool packaging which I love. So the first product that I want to show you is this one and it's called the Kyra Gentle Facial Wash and this is actually one of the products I have been trying out for the last couple of weeks and I love it. So I always cleanse my face twice morning and night, twice each time if you get what I mean and I love to use this for my first cleanse. So this is quite, it's quite a gentle one and it says cleanse and soothe, this is 96% naturally derived and it's eucalyptus, lavender and aloe vera and I have decided that that combination of scent is like one of my favourite scents. It just smells like spa on your face. The scent of it is so lovely. If you don't like scented products, scented skincare products, then maybe these products won't be for you. It's a fairly strong scent, but it's not, I don't find it overpowering, but maybe someone would if you don't particularly like scented skincare. But honestly, I absolutely love this product. It is a clear gel formula and when you use it, it turns into a very soft foam. It comes out as like a thick gel and then it kind of turns into a soft foam, but not, it's not like really foamy. I've got other face washes that I use that really foam up. This one doesn't really foam up, but it definitely does cleanse my skin. It works really well as my initial cleanse and I basically just love the smell of it. So it makes me want to use it. This is actually 120 ml in here, which is kind of a general amount that you may find in a facial wash. Maybe you'd get 150 ml. I feel like 120 ml is fine. And for me, these just store away so nice they're just so square and neat and I love square things okay so the next product is not one that I've tried I want to try it out on camera first so this is the relaxing sleep mist and again I just love the packaging um, you're getting in here 50 ml and it says it's 99% naturally derived and it's lavender scented and it's also made in England. I mean, I'm not gonna keep saying that because it's all made in England. I'll leave the brand's website down below so you can research more details about the brand, but let's see what this one smells like. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's lovely. It's just like the right amount of lavender. I used to hate lavender, but now, I don't know if it's because I've got older, I love the scent of lavender, it's so relaxing. I kind of wish though that they did the eucalyptus and aloe vera in the sleep mist so that I could experience that face wash scent that I love, uh, but like put it on my pillow. Again, love the packaging of this one. Okay, next up, they actually do their own wax melts, which I thought was so cool. They actually have body stuff, face care, wax melts. I love the kind of mixture of products that they offer. So these are the Smalter wax melts. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And you get six in here and they are bergamot and cedar. And I can confirm they smell amazing. I've got one on in the background at the moment. I wish that you guys could smell it through the camera. It just smells so good, like clean spa scent. You know when you first walk through the doors of a spa and you just get that clean but like spa calming smell. 
it smells like that. I've got a little wax melt burner by the front door where I plan to burn these. So if anyone ever comes around when they walk through, they almost get that like spa feeling. Okay, next up I have this product here, which is the bath and shower oil. This is 100% natural and it says it's lavender and neroli. Oh, I just, I love the fragrances they've put together. Deeply nourishing and natural bath and shower oil that will help you unwind and relax. Infused with essential oils for smooth, supple and hydrated skin. For best results, pour a generous amount into the bath or massage into wet skin during showering. Oh, you can actually use this. I was imagining it's, you know, like a wash. Oh, I wish I'd tested this one out. I haven't tested it yet. I wanted to let you know. I haven't even smelt it, so I wanted to tell you. Ooh. Okay, that's different to the other scents. The lavender is nice, but then the neroli comes through as well. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit on my hand and just like rub it in. I feel like I'll be able to smell it better. Okay, it feels very nice and moisturising. Ooh, smells good. Even that just on my hand, like even though that's actually got to be washed off, it just feels so nourishing on my hand, almost like a lovely hand lotion. Smells amazing again. Oh, I'm going to use that in the bath tonight. Okay, so next product here is one that I have tested out a few times, I think. Yeah, this is the one that I used. Um, so this is the Hydrate Moisture Massage Bar. It's really, really lovely. Again, lavender and neroli, 100% plastic free. Again, just really cool packaging. It says your chance to transition from tension to tranquility. Aches, pains and dry skin will melt away when faced with this replenishing blend of butters, oils and sultry aromas. The bar begins to melt as you place it onto your skin. Wait until a sufficient amount has melted onto the area and then massage this in. And you can warm it like in between your hands if you want and then apply it. But I did give Ollie a back massage with this and he loved it. He said it was really nice and also the scent lasted ages as well. So this is what it looks like and I love it because it just doesn't have all of that packaging around it. Do you know what I mean? It's just what it is. And I love a massage bar. I do normally use the massage bars from Lush, but maybe they'll be replaced. The only thing maybe I, I'm not so keen on is the size of it. It's, it's like really small, so it's kind of a bit hard to use when you're massaging it on the back. Whereas the Lush ones are like that shape, so you can kind of massage them up around the shoulders and it works really well. That's probably the only thing about these that I don't like, but apart from that, it gives exactly the same experience. Like as you rub it into dry skin, it just melts and then it actually forms like an oil on the skin and then you can do a massage, or you can just use this as body butter, but they have different ones. So this is the moisture massage bar, but then they also have the melting sleep butter, which is chamomile and coconut, and this one's 99% naturally derived. I'm gonna smell that one in a sec. And then they also have a body butter bar, which is like this, so it kind of looks, really, it looks very similar. That's the body butter bar, and then that's the massage bar. I'd say the massage bar is a little bit more densely packed with oils, whereas this one feels it's like lighter if that, that's the only way I can spell it although this one is a bit bigger it's kind of lighter so the body butter is a little bit smaller than this one the uh, body butter bar is grapefruit and tangerine and this one is 100% naturally derived if I was going to choose between the moisture massage bar or the body butter bar these two I'd probably go for the massage bar just because you're going to get that a little bit more of moisture because it is for massaging but then if you don't like things that take a little while to soak in you won't like the massage bar because that one's definitely going to take longer to soak in whereas the body butter bar is obviously designed to just nourish the skin and soak into it although oh, i don't know now because i do actually prefer the scent of the body butter bar compared to the massage bar but i feel like the massage bar is going to do more for your skin and it's obviously going to work better for massaging now let's smell the melting sleep butter chamomile and coconut oh this one's actually square so it's a little bit of a different shape it does look different as well it's kind of slightly lighter oh this is the best scent oh what is that again chamomile and coconut oh that's good i don't normally like coconut scents that much like they're definitely not my favorite but that and chamomile normally stinks i think smells horrible but together oh it's so rich and creamy and relaxing how do you describe scents it's so difficult to describe this feels also really nice on the skin i'm hoping you can see just how much 
this does actually nourish the skin. By the way guys, in case you're wondering, this video is not sponsored at all. I did buy this stuff myself, even though I only had to pay postage and packaging for it. But that's just because I found some good deals. It's actually not sponsored at all. I've just been really enjoying it and I was excited about it and I wanted to share with you guys because I've got so many bits, I thought it would make a good video. But I wonder if they do work with YouTubers because honestly, I would be very happy to work with them because so far, I'm just loving the brand and the whole concept of it as well. I don't think my hands have ever felt so nourished. But the next thing that I'm gonna show you is actually a hydrating hand cream which looks like this. Again, similar packaging to the other bits I showed you. And in here you're getting 50 ml and this is Nourish and Soften Orange and Lemongrass, 98%, naturally derived, again, made in England. It says, treat hardworking hands to a deep nourishing blend of mother nature's most hydrating ingredients. Refreshing yet warm aromatic notes, soothe and energize, infused with vitamin E. Oh, I feel like my hands don't need any more moisture, but we're gonna, Test it out, nice. Okay, so far, so good. I hate it when a hand cream is really thick. I love my hand creams to be almost thin and milky just because I don't like it to feel, you know like when your hands feel thick, almost too creamy when you've put hand cream on them. I don't like that, I like it to really soak in and then my hands just kind of feel normal again but nourished. It's kind of hard to tell with this one really because I've obviously got the other stuff on my hands underneath but it's actually soaked in really quickly which is nice. Oh, and it smells good. Nice, I honestly, I feel like all of these products, there's not been any kind of negative thing to say about them really. They're nice, they're really nice and the fact that they're doing a lot of this marketing and, and freebies and stuff like that if any of you guys have got any of it, let me know. So they also do skincare as well. The only bit of skincare that I've got to show you, apart from the cleanser that I already showed you, is this facial serum. It comes in this little glass pot. Again, great packaging, so easy to pack and take away with you, and also just store away at home, or even having all of these products out on your like vanity unit, wherever you leave your skincare out, bathroom side, feel like it looks really nice as well. But this is nice because it is glass. This is one that I have been trying out. I haven't used a lot of it, as you can see. I've used it probably maybe about five times. And I do enjoy it. It is the Vitamin C and Kakadu Plum. I hope I'm saying that right. 96% naturally derived, illuminate and hydrate. I don't really have anything bad to say about the product itself. The only thing I don't really like is the texture of it. It's just very, very liquidy. So it's almost a little bit hard to use. And then the pot that it comes in, it just has this little metal lid and it's just like this. So you you kind of, you can't really pour it into, I suppose you could, you could pour a little bit into the middle of your palm and then rub it together and press it in. But I kind of end up sort of tipping it onto my face a little bit and then trying to catch the runniness of it down my face and then blend it in. But once you've blend it, blended it into your skin, it almost turns, it doesn't go, it's not like much thicker, but it, soaks in and turns a little bit more moisturizing so it's not like a watery drying product it is moisturizing it's very glowy leaves your skin looking really nice and glowy i love the fact it's got vitamin c in there but i think the reason i've not used it that much is because i already have vitamin c products that i absolutely love and i'll never take out of my regime they're just so good but i was a bit wary of adding more vitamin c into my routine so i was kind of using this in between the other product when I wasn't using the other one. If you're looking for a new vitamin C product, I would say this serum is really good. This is obviously gonna go on top of after you've cleansed your skin, and then you can pop a moisturizer on top of it. I also feel like this would last you for ages, even though it's like a very small little bottle. How much are we getting here? 30 ml. Because you just need the tiniest amount because of how liquid it is, I do feel like it would last you for ages. The next product I have to show you, I actually have two of them because in the two different kits that I received, there was one each of these in each of them. If that makes sense and this is the pulse point roller deep relaxation finds your peaceful place at night and even throughout the day rich and woody aromas ground you while lavender and chamomile soothe the nervous system mm. that's what it says it actually says on here mm. <laughs> and it just says roll onto pulse points at the temples neck wrists and behind the ears and i have tested this one out and i do love it i love myself a roll-on pulse point thing. I normally just put it behind my ears here. Don't generally put it on my face just because I feel like it's gonna definitely give me spots or something because I get them so easily. Um, yeah, I normally put it behind my ear and then I'll just rub a little bit on my wrist there when I go to bed. And then I love sleeping like with my hands up by my face like that. And then I can just smell this 
on my wrist, it's lovely. But like this with the pillow mist is like your ideal sleep solution. Lovely. Well, I've really enjoyed showing you guys these bits. I don't know what you think about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a bit of a different one, like I said at the beginning. I never normally do hauls of one single brand of makeup or skincare, but I thought we'd do something different today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave everything linked down below, but if I can find the deal where you can actually sign up, normally it's like you have to sign up to emails or something and then you just pay postage and then you can get some freebies. If I can find any deals like that that are still running, I'll leave them linked down below as well. And hopefully you guys get yourself some goodies and hopefully for free. I definitely do recommend the brand. So if you've seen their advertising, maybe it's just me, but I feel like I've seen them everywhere. But if you've seen brand and you've been wondering about it, I would definitely say give them a go. Also, the products are just very affordable as well. It's not even like it's a major expensive brand. Products are affordable, packaging is good. It's made in the UK and the sense of everything is just perfect. Love it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.